I'm back. Red, what time of day is it? Yo. Oh, now? Um, in game, right? Yeah. It should be probably the middle of the night. Maybe not like midnight, oh, but so it was okay. a night so party. It's literally right after the events. So, okay. Yeah. We had a little bit of confusion on whether our rest happened or not. Because that means right. a new I mean, I guess their combat save has not refreshed. Uro. Understood. Yeah, it seems like it was kind of immediate. Yeah. All the more reason why I'm on the roof. Well, I just mean that you're the only person who can see this little girl running away. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I can well, see it, but I'm also holding big guy down. Yeah. Well, You've I'm got... not about the girl from getting away. All yeah. Right. No, she's fleeing towards the uh, towards the the town wall. Um, right. Connor and I can see if we'd recover fast enough to see if we can actually spot where she's going and follow her. Oh, she's headed to the town wall. I'm going to wait until she starts climbing the town wall to then ambush her. Smart. Uh, so I guess we could roll body speed in mind and see what happens. Versus two, yeah. that's very interesting. It's actually easier to get it over a blind. Right, yeah. So yeah. Go for it. Uh, did not actually beat a two. Oh, yeah, and you need so, three successes as well. So you need to get every one of those rolls. Mm -hmm. Also, technically, I guess you would be reeling, so you recover from. Oh yeah, it is your recover action. You're good. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, the the doctor just kind of stumbles around, and goes, Ah, got her. Where, where, what's going on? I, are we in danger? Can't see. Right, so it's up You're to you. Curses in French. Well, technically, you two yeah. still have an action. Oh, I mean, like, all right, so I'll run straight into a wall. Uh, that's, <clears throat> I'll ready a spell is probably the best other action. I How, about this? How about this? Follow the sound of my voice and hold this big guy down. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, is that the play? Blind? We're, we're blind. blinded. Yeah, but you yeah, can still you're hear. You can't dash. When you're blinded, you can't dash. You can only sprint. Mm -hmm. I'm Ooh. just saying that if you hold this guy down, Ooh. I could, you know, get off of him so and help. You... How far away is the doctor from uh, Harmon's uh, and his hospital? Well, they're in the building in the room that. Uh, no, they were outside. Accidents. I'm literally right in front of yeah, you. That's no, why I'm they talking got... to you. So, yeah, so... Oh, we're blind and we've never seen it before. Yeah, uh, just pick a number, guys. Nine paces away? Um, Probably less. Let's say four paces. That's near range. Okay. Well, if you want to go where they are, go ahead and try to sprint four paces. Remember, you can always roll smaller dice than your speed die, but not larger. Well, I made it, so it's all good. Yeah, kind of rolled a four. I don't know. And oh, the guy that. has that, scare, so it might be good for me to be the one to put money in his back. I do like that I'm zoomed in on a part where it looks like I've already killed this guy. <laughs> yeah, this is an old map, so we've got old tokens. Was um, Gaston on this map? Is he? Did he? He might have been removed when he uh, died. This looks well, like the map where Gaston not died. He's been dragged away. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna... Just what's his name was up here, and he's gone. Alright. Uh, let's just delete this guy. Uh, you know, for the sake of... For the sake of what we're doing here, I'm gonna... Cool, we've got new Connor. We can drag out... Um, the doctor. And of course, the deadliest character of all. With so many bodies under his name, he may need a new belt to put the notches in. Yeah. All right. Oh, was he okay. Be eating them? No, no. Put it like put a notch in your belt. Put a notch in the bedpost. That kind of thing. Are you sleeping with him too? Oh yeah. Oh totally. Yeah, this is a background monster. is confusing me. You're 
You're being obtuse on purpose. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And now let's see. So this is, we're trying something a little bit new using the range. Uh, instead of using grids, we're just going to use range. Um, but yeah, that's about four, right? Four meters, in this case, meters or paces. And uh, so you're actually exactly... Wow, that worked out pretty pretty well. Okay. So yeah, so let's do this. Let's try sprinting. <laughs> let's try some blind sprinting. All right, again, it's the sound of my voice. Run towards my voice. I just like this because the comedy, the potential for comedy is just so good. Um, sprint to four, yeah. So, Connor, you basically make it directly up to Harmon, uh, who probably has to stop you from tripping over this scorpion on the ground. Or uses momentum, like grab him by the hand, put his hand down on the back of the scorpion. Hold him down! Nice. Nice. Uh, and Doctor, are you going to roll your sprint as well? Try to close. Oh no, I ready to spell. I'm standing still. I'm not going anywhere. I'm blind. Gotcha. It's probably the wise option. So, um, okay then. Um, Anushka is waiting. Uh, well, Anushka, let me clarify this. Maybe you'll still the wall. I'm going to stop her at the wall. I'm going to cool. move engage her at the wall. So I'll all right. All right. I'll, I will say that you don't actually. She doesn't have to like climb the wall. like she's scampering up the side of the wall. There are stair stairways and scaffolding for like the guards to get up onto the wall proper. Um, and she's just going to take one of those. Uh, oh, but okay. yes, I will intercept her at the top of the landing. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. So, um, yes, when you get up there, she uh, she's looking behind her, sort of looking at the rest of the party, and yep. then um, when she sees you, she she stumbles. She falls back and the hood falls back. It's quite obviously B. Um, and she's out of breath, but she's just staring daggers at you, Anushka. And uh, she, speaking of daggers, she pulls out a small dagger from her cloak. Looks probably more like it's actually a letter opener, but maybe it's what well, she can grab. It's still a knife. So. Still a knife. And she says, um, stay back. I won't let you take me back to my father. I can tell that you're, uh, that none of you understand what's going on. And I, I, I refuse to let an innocent man suffer. No one wants to hurt anyone. We're here to help. You put that, uh, uh, just put that down, and come talk to us and tell us your side of the story. We're gonna try to negotiate with you. Let's do, uh, let's do a negotiation. That is resisted by your mind, will, and negotiation. Let's see if she's got any those things just got some of those things right at the very least where are you b b b there you are okay uh nope she does not have any negotiation so it's just going 2d6 aha hi so uh um you can decide if there's a tiebreaker or not whether she believes me or not i have no weapons out i've had a hard day because I injured and spent combat save, and I didn't True. approach with any weapons. Your okay. help. You can just tell us your side of the story. If you choose to believe me or not, I won't know until it's your turn. Right, right. Okay. I'm trying to think. If you had a weapon out, then disarming yourself might be the way to go. Um, you don't have yeah, a weapon I out. I up with no weapons at all. Yeah, yeah. So, um, in terms of a tiebreaker, I'm pretty sure be a good tiebreaker in this situation. Um, I'm open to suggestions, I guess. Love of a good um, man. It, 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 I mean, I would suggest, like, would she... Does she want to stab me? What's her motto? Yeah, she what's doesn't... Her, what's her motto? Let's see, I don't think... Yeah. What's, motto? Her, what's her it, three it, goals? Sex, drugs, and rock Modern and roll? Yeah, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, yeah, yeah. We we, um, we used to list goals for NPCs, but um, I, I mean, mean, what kind of person are you? Are you going to obviously gonna number stab one is eight? survive? Yeah. Yep. Unless yep. it's not. I have all this stuff so, Unless she's so diehard in love with this uh, Rodolfo that survive isn't her number one anymore. <laughs> is not her number one. No, it's well, certainly. She might, also, uh, she might also be able to take me. I've had a really crappy day. You're the kind of person who looks at me, sees the terrible shape I'm in, and stabs me. 
Is that the kind of person you are? I mean, it might be. Yeah. Uh, it mm. sounds like she thinks of herself as the wronged party. She could also just try to blow me off and just try to run past me. Uh, what species is she again? A stoat? Stoat. Yeah, it doesn't get any bonuses to... Um, the bonus you would get is that you could stab me and run away because I believe you get springing strike. Springing strike, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but that's on your turn. If you're the kind of person who loves Rodolfo so much that you stab a tiny bat woman, we're about to find out. That, yes, that we are. Um, right. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I don't think she wants to hurt you but I do think she wants to escape. So I don't think she's going to listen to you, but she's not going to stab you. That's what she our time would get. Um, I don't think she's very good at it, but... Uh, yes, but I'm a bat. I resist with body and will. Look also, desperation. And desperation. All right, so I guess that's what she'll try to do. Um, like yeah, an intimidation. If I get back, I'll, I'll do it. I'll mean it. I mean, yeah, she's not very good at it, but you, you, you never she does have... be good at something to stop you. Yeah, she does have a mark in presence, or a couple. She's got a D6 in presence. Oh, well, right? geez, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bat. She's going to throw her weight around. Um, All right, say something scary. All right, she says, um, if you don't step aside right now, I will have my entire family's fortune will be dedicated to ending you and everyone you've ever met. Wow, that's cold. I know, it's serious. It people so much. So rich people. Pay someone else to stab you later. <laughs> We're going to say 2d6 will in presence there. Uh, That's your will. Else. Wow. Wow. There you go. I'm All right. Good. You're holding your ground, and it doesn't look like she has any intention of, of stabbing you herself. So, um, yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself in response to that? Uh, well, I'd have to be in character for Anushka. Normally, I'm I'm an asshole. Um, sorry, I'll be nice. It's like, no, I know you don't mean that. You don't want to spread. Uh, uh, you can't wa uh, can't solve any problems by shedding more blood. We're here to help. If you if you if you and your friend are as innocent as you say, uh, the truth will out. Please let me help you. Okay, the just the violence in her eyes of helpless drops the the letter opener she falls to her knees and she begins to sob and effectively okay. halted her escape there All there right. there, there. <laughs> uh anushka is better at dealing with people crying their stuff out uh it's called role play yeah yeah just let's just hug it out so uh, no, i'll just i'll just wait until she's had her moment and then pull calmly lead her back to everyone else. Not okay. because you guys aren't scary. I mean, I mean what, what yeah. does Connor look like again? You're wearing your shining radiant armor and carrying what weapons again? Buckler, mace, dagger, saber. Actually, if you just came from the fight, aren't you still dressed yeah. up in party clothes? Yep. Mm. So You're you all still in party clothes. Them. I'm the only one who's still armed and armored. Well, no, Dude. he's dressed in party clothes, but he's still wear. But they gave him back his bandolier of saber mace. Yeah, when you guys left, you didn't sneak out of the party or anything. You just picked up your stuff on the way. Well, out. I you guys yeah, said I that you jumped out of a window to follow the curl hunter trail. No, they specifically did not because it did not look like a safe option. Uh, yeah, I'm the one who looks like hell over. Yeah, she's so. still wet from the from the swimming. Well, my clothes are all torn up. I wrestled with a bat in the air. We were clawing yeah. and biting at each other. Yeah, you look like you had a rough night. It was a rough prom for Anushka. Uh, I got stitches in my face. Okay. Um, well, so, yeah, when B returns, she says, What are you doing? Un unhand him. Let him up. He's uh, quite harmless. No? How about no? The scorpion uh, will sort of hiss at you, but he's got all four of his hands, palms up, like he's he's done uh, rifling through his possessions. I seen both Connor and I were restraining all of his, yeah, all of his digits. 
That's why it's two of us on this job. <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, of course, you still are missing a hand to restrain the stinger. Stinger is still free. Who knows what could happen? I mean, he wants to use it. I'll cut it off. Whoa, Feel dude. free. I've had a long, boring day. It's something incredibly emasculating about all that. But uh, yeah, he doesn't look like he's making any Um But yeah, uh, so he sort of hisses at you. Um, he says, I've done nothing wrong. I am s a simple apothecary. The girl came to me for uh, medicinal herbs. You blinded is... people with an explosive. Did you forget all that already? That was literally moments ago. It was clear that you had the building surrounded. It was self-defense. Self, you don't self-defense attack someone first. Maybe you don't, but the people here... Uh, I've had many people try to, to rob my store, vandalize my property. I take precautions. It's not an excuse. We did break in it. Yeah, I uh, just... We don't, I understand what you're saying. At the same time, I don't care. Well, Harmon, no one's paying you to kill this man. I didn't. I did I'm looking at you. I'm restraining him. I don't know why you say I'm going to kill him. Well, that's also true. How many legs does he have again? He's a scorpion. He's got four. He's got the gift of extra hands, I think. That's why oh, I'm yeah. restraining so him and Connor is restraining him. That's why we got all the arms. Did we bring enough manacles for this? Nobody ever. Uh, I don't. Do you guys have any manacles? No, we have the, the question is: Do we bring enough manacles? Here? We did, well. We brought zero, so no. So no. Yeah. We're just shy by four, though. The, I don't acknowledge the concept of zero. I mean, I got a cloak. I could wrap a cloak around his arms. The... Anyway, we're not here for him. Are we we're here for her? He's an accomplice. True. He knows you things clearly. You, the person who heard the conversation, is <laughs> wants him free. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't say free him. Just make sure you don't hurt him. We don't actually have any like writ of authority or agency here. So tread lightly. Do we not? Is that not part of the the writ that we have? Uh, you do have this writ from Borneo, so you do have some sort of vague authority. Oh hell. Yeah. Yeah, holy crap. Never mind. Here, let me help you tie him up. Also, yeah, he's got the bandolier of uh, alchemical agents across his chest that yeah, he was no, reaching no, no. for oh. a moment ago. I, I apologize. Like, no, no, we have this right here. Okay, yeah, no, strip him. Tie him up. All right. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we had a red. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's saying things now, but it's in a form that you can't understand. They don't sound like nice things. I mean, I've heard it um, before. I don't up. understand it, but I've been to his but land. But you've heard it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so we've got these two arrested. She's yeah, now that he's tied up, us. that five minutes will eventually pass. Yeah. She's, she's agreed to come with us and make a statement. Yeah, and and we can say at the, um, you know, Connor and Doctor, you guys, uh, your, your eyesight comes back at the end of five minutes, although... Um, I am loved by Salumer, it's true. Oh, it's I true, why you. have you forsaken my eyes? Um, this flashbang has sort of lingering effects, though, so for the next two hours, we'll take penalties on uh, observation checks that rely on eyesight. But that's for the next two hours, and you guys have caught your prey. Mm -hmm. It's your quarry, so it probably won't be a big deal. But you get, like, you've got, like, floaters in your eyes, essentially. Um, yeah. Okay. From yes. what Anushka heard, we do know that this apothecary is probably who sold the daughter, the subforic agent. Mm. And uh, she might be an accomplice in what Rodolfo has done. But also that she thought that he would know where Rodolfo was gone. Exactly, that too. So we've got some news for uh, what's the name? Look at the name. Well, I mean, also pointedly, do either of you think that you would be any good at getting information out of this guy? Well, who's got an inquiry besides me? Uh, I do. 
So I could ask him some questions. Say, I don't, and you don't want him dead, so I'm no good here. Yeah, so we could start asking questions. Oh, so, yeah, well, let's, we're looking for, look, if we find Rodolfo, we can make sure <clears throat> you, that he gets the proper justice that he deserves. He's already tried to hurt people. He's already tried to hurt me. So, um, uh, we have 10 questions. He has 20 fingers. Win win. <laughs> Uh, I don't well, think we need to break anything here. We don't need to break it. We, there's something going on that's much larger than all of this, and it all involves the supernatural. Uh, it uh, and it goes bigger than this. So, right. uh, so you know, I'm sure. Uh, you know, um, once the truth is out, I'm sure that uh, it's all a big misunderstanding. And uh, all of this, uh, you know, can be resolved peaceably. So just, of course, if you can tell us what you know. That um, is the, yeah, that's the right uh, tact. How are you at inquiry, Dr. Anonymous? Uh, I have a D6 skill die. Yeah, you are better at this than I do. I, <laughs> I have good people skills, but that's mostly... Um, uh, most of my inquiry is asking, hey, do you know where this person lives? I have a letter. Yep. So I should assist you. Uh, so would this be will and inquiry, I suppose? Yeah. All right. Well, what exactly? Uh, this is just for questioning the, the two of them. So, so the, the, this is one of the concepts that I think we never quite explain properly in Iron Claw. Um, a lot of um, people can have tells or they can give stuff away with holes in their story or by withholding information or by pausing. Like you may have noticed that when I role play, I'm often very broad strokes when I'm doing my, my, my commentary uh, about this, you know, so I can make mm -hmm. my intentions clear. So a lot of people are doing this in role playing games. They just they they give them an insight skill, which is just are they lying? And mm -hmm. that doesn't help you that much because you know a, an NPC who lies to you, you don't learn anything. They just lie. Well, immediately we start chopping off fingers because we're horrible murder tools. Exactly. So what inquiry is is the ability to get information out of the subject based on what they don't tell you. Like if I ask you, hey, do you know if he's alive or not? And they go. Mm -hmm. No, he's dead. Immediately, I know that they're lying. The goal is, of course, you know, to, act, to do the cop show type thing of asking questions. So the goal of the inquiry is we might be able to learn some information from them simply because we can outwit them. Mm. Uh, or ask right. Them In questions. this scenario, we know that these two are associated. They're semi-associated with Rodolfo. And, of course, we have four vials of blue liquid here that she kept on her person with a foreign label and we here we have a foreign person so, so could you maybe elaborate on your uh, full relationship here and what's been going so, on so i can give you a d8 bonus with your uh with your inquiry would you say the evidence would count as a d8 bonus um like it is an assist oh i see with the the vials that you have on you mm -hmm. Yeah, were the um, soporifics used at the when were the soporifics used? I'm missing that part of this equation. Uh, she had them in her room. She appears to have been using them to some extent. Uh, but we don't know if she's been taking them or giving them to someone else. Yeah, Maybe she's only, been giving them to her father. That only proves that she's associated with the spider. We didn't actually find these used in any product <laughs> well, We're looking for a sorcerer for crying out loud. Right. And of course, she's related to the sorcerer and is immediately upset as soon as he uh, absconded. Well, she's not real. Right. So we need to find the truth of the matter, which is why we're asking all the questions. So I, I, I would just roll your inquiry because this is just a thing we know about. This isn't really. We're looking for Rodolfo, right? Right. Uh, and part of this is just figuring out this part of the story and trying to resolve it because we do have to return her to her father. If it's an, if it's a, this bonus, you can roll later. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I was wait. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think you need... right. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's a scorpion. That's right. He's got the poison tail. Yeah. This yeah. Is okay. Uh, so no ruling on the uh, stuff that we have, right? So the stuff that you have, um, all it really proves is that you went through things. 
Okay, so Any I'll just go ahead and I'll just roll with Anushka's help. Cool. I oh. roll terribly. I don't right. believe I've used personality today, and... What's your personality? I don't have anything set up for inquiry either, so I could always choose a specialty. I like to think so. that you show her her things, and she gets indignant that you went through her stuff, and just gets angrier. Yeah, my personality is phlegmatic. I just kind of explain calmly and dispassionately, like, yes, I, we're just here to ask questions. We want to know the truth. That's all we want. Very clinical. Uh, hey. And I guess what would a good inquiry be here with captives? <laughs> mm, captives. What's, what's what's the actual inquiry here, do you think? Um oh, I mean well, well, what, what social class is she? She is nobility. Yeah, you the Scorpion is certainly not. Sure, I'll I'll do it to press Which the makes nobility. More sense for you, rich guy. I'm sorry, for doctor guy. There we go. Two successes, finally. All right. Not bad. Okay. Um, she, so, she sniffs indignantly um, when the, at the, um, when you mention or show the, the vials that you found, and when you're questioning specifically about the, uh, um, well, about the, the vials of, of that soporific, right? Software, software, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, she says um, that is a um, it's sleep medicine. Um, I have uh, trouble. I, I suffer from insomnia, and Rodolfo um, put me in touch with the good apothecary here, Callum, who is um, does not deserve to be treated as you have treated him. He is a healer, and um, uh, and yes, so that was uh, my personal staff. He was what? So he's a healer. So you mispronounced dealer. You mispronounced dealer. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> he's a healer, and he does not should not be manhandled by the likes of um. Uh, my my dear Rodolfo is uh, is he is an innocent in all of this. He has been uh, framed by you ruffians, and uh, and he's if he has fled, it is his own protection. He he's smart enough to know that he is being villainized and and should he stay he would be well i shudder to think what my father would do to him based on the accusations uh that you have levied um and based on your insight you get the impression that she is um you get the impression that she's honest about this if uh she has been taking that medication um, she seems to think that it is specifically for her well-being. She thinks that the Scorpion Callum is um, is on the level a well-meaning associate of Rodolfo's. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also see that she is holding something back. Um, some knowledge that she's trying to keep that she's trying to keep from you and, and keep from pouring out of her. Yeah, we have how many successes? One? Two. Two. So we would get something that a skilled interrogator. Like, well, one success would be something anyone could get. Two successes would be something that only us skilled. So, all right. So we're inclined to believe, yeah, she's just addicted to drugs. She's a rich, noble, inbred person. That's what they do. Um, well, at the same time, uh, Mia, may I uh, show you this? This is a letter in his room. And he has some very poor things to say about his activities. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll show him the letters that we collected. Or I'll oh, highlight. Right. <clears throat> Which might okay. change your tune a little bit. She um, looks over them, and you don't see any sign of uh, horror or outrage that you're kind of expecting. Um, she hands them back to you and she says, um, uh, this is this is either fraud, a forgery, or it is um, or something that that you lot have planted. Uh, there's no proof that this was even um, addressed to him. It simply says R. That any number of, of people could be the recipient of this letter. Um, ah, because he was just casually uh, holding on to a conspiracy note for for posterity. Of course, I understand. Yes. yes. So you're saying uh, so. 
you're at, at, you're saying these don't look like letters scrawled in his hands that someone's trying to frame him for this. Yeah, I mean, you guys have determined that they're so. not. Yeah, <laughs> they're definitely not his letter. Well, they're not written by him. They were they were written to him. Um, and she says, you know, you claim that these letters were even found in his room, but she doesn't. Well, I do not believe that. Obviously, there are, there are enemies who are working against Rodolfo. Do you know who this Y and N person might be that uh, are trying to uh, um, foist their own perfidy upon him? Mm, that's good. Uh, she bites a nail, uh, and she's she says, um, I know that he spoke of, he, he has many business interests in areas all around this region. Um, it's possible that there was some sort of, of rival competitor might be trying to frame him for some for something, but um, he never spoke much about his business to me. He, he said that it is not a not something that a, a highborn woman should should worry herself with. And instead, we focused on you know science, the uh, you know the sciences. Your friend Rodolfo uh, is very brave, but you of all people should know of the pettiness that can be fe- that is rife uh, within the blue bloods and how they would never accept him as their own if uh, they're trying to uh, pin their own crimes upon him. It's necessary that uh, we clear him as soon as possible. Do you have any idea who this Y and N would be, or you think they're just his business associates and he never talked to you about his business? That's true. Uh, yes, as she says, I have no no knowledge of any of his business associates. Um, but now she's considering more and more that maybe you guys are not simply here to kill and murder Rodolfo. The way that you talk about him. Um, she seems to be coming around we're somewhat. Confident. You know, we, we yeah. remember, we don't really under, you're, it's so hard being a person of privilege, born into wealth and getting everything you need all the time. Ah, uh, it must be so terrible for you. Uh, we're, uh, we can barely understand, uh, but you know that your love transcends that uh, uh, divide between them. Uh, uh, Rodolfo's reaching out to you. We are like him. We want to help him. We want to help you because you deserve help. Remember when I said we're going to paint everything in big, broad strokes? There you go. I mean, hey. Um, we're yeah. You don't understand what it is to be born into greatness. That's really convincing. Um, but also, just moments ago, you guys were literally hunting the her associates down so i would like to get a role for this because i think that's a really good tactic to take um so i would like uh to negotiate is negotiate what, yeah uh, will and negotiation the inquiry has convinced me that uh huh so some guy showed up told you you were great applied you full of drugs and shacked up with you huh imagine that um you know, so I'm already drawing the conclusion that it's like, you know, yeah. Like, I'm guessing that like all the opium in the world is in these stupid bottles. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, might grill the scorpion guy next. So, all right. So, I'll, yeah, no, I mean, it's like, you know, you gotta help us. Uh, Rodolfo probably hasn't told her anything. But she may have found something out by observing Rodolfo, especially because if she's really in love with him, she may have um, uh, gotten it. But I've probably tipped my hand too much and my obvious contempt for... Well, actually, Anushka wouldn't be contemptuous, uh, but Anushka would definitely like let it slip that noble Stevitensi step all over them. Because I freaking botched. Mm-hmm. That was a botch. Uh, yeah, you don't have any negotiations. I don't have any negotiation, and I, and it's the same night. I haven't had a chance to rest, so my personality hasn't been charged. I was it's planning on giving you a, a bad day. Yeah, it's true. I was planning on giving you a bonus for the choice of basically approaching the situation. Like, guy? I was going to give you a D eight for saying, "Oh, it's we're not trying to hurt him, and we that like it's." 
Right. Okay. Well, then it's just then it's just a regular failure. Then it's just a normal failure, not a botch. So it's not the worst Phew. case. Um. Y- yeah, she seems like she she wants someone. She wants a shoulder to cry on right now. Um. And for a moment, she entertained the idea that it could be you all, but then the reality of the situation brought her back down to earth, and she said, um, I- "I'm done. I'm I'm done talking about this until you release this good apothecary, um, and and let us and return us to to my father. This is something that um, I-, I will not be judged by the likes of you. I-, I will. This is a family matter, and it will be it should be handled by the family." Hmm. Well, Connor is the only one, uh, and Connor actually doesn't have the right to detain. She is a noble that puts this in yes. a bad situation. So, yes. what does the writ say? What, what's the writ from Borneo give us? Well, um, we technically have a verbal agreement to bring her back. That's it. Okay. Well, then let's go ahead and bring her back. Let's get back to this apothecary guy we just beat up. Apparently, we don't have any right to actually arrest or detain her. Right. What we're doing here, I believe, is uh, we need to ask him questions about his associations with Rodolfo now and what exactly he has been doing here. Well, let him up. He might suffocate. He supported, you know, he does his bones are on the outside, so don't crush his organs or whatever. Only holding him by the hands. Not the putting hands. a knee anywhere on his body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knees aren't anywhere on his body. I'm holding him by the hands. I believe he surrendered anyway. So. Yes. Well, I'm simply making sure. That he doesn't reach for the <laughs> weapons that are still on his body. That's all I've done. So here's a good question. All right. So here we are in Dolaro Domain. I'm assuming uh, I don't know what the sumptuary laws here are in Dolaro Domain. I'm guessing, you know, you could just sell cocaine and opium over the counter and no one stops you. Mm. Since it's the Middle Age. So Anushka, would you like yeah. to go ahead and do another assist and I'll go ahead and do the inquiry roll? Um Yeah, actually, you're you're professional courtesy. You're a doctor, so you mean you know all about medicine, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, would that oh, be wait, relevant to add an extra D twelve in? Before we get started, so this stuff in these bottles, this is also a painkiller, right? Uh, yeah, mild. Uh, oh god, highly. Addictive. Uh, I was going to get to your wounds eventually. <laughs> highly addictive. <laughs> Highly, yeah, highly yeah. addictive. Really, the so so the real thing now, Anushka, is um, in game terms. I'm capping your will to a D4 for the That's next. Fine. Yeah, for the next eight hours. So. Okay. And I'll go ahead and mark off one of ah, those. Jokes you're feeling. Was a D4. Oh, haha! No, 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 well, he's a D4. So anyway. Okay. Uh, and I guess the question here will be: uh, Should I throw on an extra D12 for medicine? What is what specifically are you? Well, to get he's clearly him. an apothecary, and his business here has been dealing with this. How has he been dealing in his uh-huh. business with Rodolfo and the young lady? Uh, I would suggest you should get your career as a double dip, because uh, professional courtesy. Well, the career is technically almoner, but... You're still not even a doctor! <laughs> I'm almost a doctor. <laughs> No, nah, ne- then never mind. Look, I'll go to Triskelia one day, and I'll I'll go to the university, and they'll hand me a pay- piece of paper, and I'll get to say I'm a professional doctor. I mean, technically, uh, you came I, from I, the capital of the Dolaro, so that would have been I, a place for you to get yeah. here. I, I but, think I'll be over here in a, in, in, in a laudanum and do stupor. Right. Yeah, but it, if it applies, there's the rule. Okay, yeah, I think that that can apply so here. Three, although maybe four successes. Oof. Uh, let's okay. I'm gonna roll a penalty because this guy is currently restrained and very not talkative mood, but that didn't end up mattering. So yeah, the threat of Harmon is too great. The threat of Harmon is too great. Um, all right. So uh, he seems like he is more than willing to say whatever you guys won't need to hear um, to let him up and let him go, essentially, or at least speak favorably. Of him when this goes before the lord of the town of the land. Um, and yes, so you said that you wanted to ask about his day to day and the his involvement with Rodolfo. Is that correct? Yeah, Rodolfo and uh, Bia here. Gotcha. All right. Um. Well, so yeah, chitters to himself, but he he says in again heavily accented calabrese. That he, uh, 
Well, um, he's worked in this town for the past five years. Um, he met Rodolfo uh, just over the course of um, his day-to-day uh, duties. The townsfolk distrust him, and um, as he's mentioned before, he's constantly um, dealing with theft and vandalism on his property. Um, but that the Lycée Montu have been relatively kind to him, and they understand that he is a a medicine worker, uh, or, or that he he does have a uh, great skill skill that can't be found commonly in Calabria. He will mention. Um, Rodolfo had uh, asked of him for several different met- uh, medicinal tonics, and over the course of of them working together, he paid very well, and they developed a business relationship. Um, he had met uh, B several times, but um, only on the days that she would take walks with uh, Rodolfo and Rodolfo would step by at the shop. He had never spoken with her much before tonight uh, and never alone individually. And she came to him just um, asking for uh, more doses. She had left her, her sleep drugs in her apartment and she was going on a journey. and. Um, because she was the one of the only townsfolk who had ever been kind to her, he gladly uh, was refilling her prescription. Essentially, that's his story. He's sticking to it. I see. Well, it seems as if you're an innocent party in all this. Bia gave us quite a bit of a scare, running straight to you and her uh, <clears throat> bit of an escape. As you can see, it's gotten everyone frightened and worked up today after what's happened. He nods. He says, "Yes." Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, well, well, as you can see, I apologize for using this um, this this flash on you, but your vision should be returned by now. And and if you don't mind, we don't need to bring this up to to the the Lord Lisemantu. I will just uh, return to cleaning up up my shop. If it's all the same. Yeah, and the doctor's just gonna be like rubbing his eyes still a little bit. It's like yeah, not, nothing like a little bit of flashing between friends. Uh. <laughs> He, he, he clearly intends to not tell anyone about it. Right. And Bia seems quite... Uh, she she says, see, there you go. He's an innocent party, so please, please release him. Um, and, uh, yeah. And she says, and take me back to my father. Um, I, I shan't be uh, disrespected this way for, for much longer. I, I wish to return home. That's the intention. I suppose we ought to get going then, everybody. Well, wait, did you... Sorry, I might have... <clears throat> my brain, my brain didn't work 100%. Uh, did you guys ask him where Rodolfo is? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's on the table. Do you have any idea where Rodolfo may have gone if he chose to flee? <clears throat> he says, uh... No, 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 I did not know him mm-hmm. that well. Um, but... I'll say um, you get the impression that that might not be the whole truth. Well, I did have four successes on this in total, or I guess three if it's not medicine related. So. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, that's true. You did do so. Um, so after a bit more prying about like, well, I mean, he kept coming around and asking for stuff, and he knew to ask for you, and knew to ask for like these strange, weird things. Surely he's a better associate than that. Yeah, um, the, yeah, so Callum, he is, he's, he's looking up at you and he's just nodding. He says, I don't really know him. I don't really, um, he's looking back between you and between, between you and Bay, B. And, uh, um, finally he says, uh, I know that he had, uh, holdings in Berger, Burgess. Um, I I know that several times he had um extended credits to me from from a a bank there. Um, I I assume that that might be someplace he would go. Um, and he stops talking because it looks like Bia is her her uh expression is darkening, and she kind of stares down at him and she says he doesn't know what he's speaking of. Um, as he says, he's he's an innocent in all this, an acquaintance of Rodolfo, and I'm sure 
whatever Rodolfo said was just kindness to this poor uh, foreign doctor. So, hmm. Uh, so I'll go ahead and look to Connor just to make sure everything's clear. He nods because he doesn't, he has no inquiry skills. He doesn't know that this guy's not giving us the whole truth. Mm -hmm. Should you also inquire about the possible knowledge of the Y and connection? Well, I guess we've already flashed the letters around, so yeah. If he can even read the letters, I think he's a foreign, or he might not understand this alphabet. Well, he knows Calabrese, so. Yeah, he did. He has but been he writing. By each literacy separately. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, he, he he does give you kind of like an I don't know. Well, yeah, but I'm not I asking, can't read that writing. But my intention wasn't that he read the letters. It was more like, do you know somebody who would identify as? We, 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 right, we might ask him a way. We we can ask him. Uh, does he know who Y and N are? I won't, I'd be surprised. All right. Um, he says that he doesn't know any associate of uh, Rodolfo's, whose name has an N in it specifically. Um, he says that he had one time uh, Rodolfo had been visited by a man wearing uh, strange green robes, um, a raven who went by the name of. Uh, why something? Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I yes. think you called him Ives. The famous why something. Why something. Yeah. Uh, he called the man, uh, the, the raven, he called him Ives. Um, uh, Ives seemed very, very curious. This the sleep potion that I am famous for, essentially. Um, but I haven't seen him since then. Hmm. Well, I guess that at least gives us something to follow up on. But still, I, I thank you for all of your patience tonight. Have you guys, are you still having pinched to the ground? <laughs> uh, that, that's on Harmon there. Again. And I guess Connor's order. Words used, not pinned, simply held Restrained. by the arms. Yes. Connor will let him go. All right, yeah, no, he he scurries up and he's got he's doing the like the wrist action thing, but he says, "Uh oh, um, many many apologies, sirs. Uh, I will return to to cleaning up. I I, I am closed for the night. Um, and if no one tries to stop him, he's just gonna back away. Um, he's going to pick up his yeah, this shattered is door. He just stays here, so <laughs> well, I mean, so I've had a little time locking his doors now that we've I've busted through all three of them." Yeah, it's a bad night for Callum, but uh, he's, you know... He well, he seemed... made the choice to throw a flashbang in people's faces. You gotta live with your actions. Technically, you broke his door first, but... I broke I one you. door first, and then he attacked unrelated people. I'll point that out, too. What if those were just two hobos hanging out in the back alley? He just flashbanged them for no reason. <laughs> Well, again, uh, not, not really a permanent injury, just just a prank, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you yeah, prank bro. somebody on the street and they punch you in the face, you probably deserved it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Bia says, um... Well, then, shall we? Yes, back to your father, who I'm sure has plenty to say to you. And of course, as a feature of Salubert, let me talk your ear off on our way back. Oh, the true. About the duty of uh, good children to their parents. The true, uh, yeah. She she will put the hood back up because, again, she's trying to hide the shame of this situation. Um, and most of the way back, she's pretty stoic. Mm -hmm. As you're just talking her ear off. At wait. certain point, she's... Came yes. over the filler episode where we have the adventures of the uh, the night brigade standing watch the front that nobody's talked to. Yeah, they just yeah. stand there discussing. Oh, yeah. Hey, why do you think we're here? Red versus blue opening. What's the point of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A real Rosencrantz and Guildenstern type. Uh, yeah, I'm into it. Side episode. <laughs> yeah, tossing um, the ball back. And yeah, forth so. 
Exactly, exactly. Um, all right. So, yeah. So, she does start to chime in. I maybe you guys get state. Um, you start to you learn uh, anonymous that she um, there was a time when she was younger where she was being sort of groomed by a hierarch um, potentially to be an acolyte of uh, Lutera, and although she's currently um, no longer practicing, uh, she chimes in here and there with like interesting religious factoids from her faith. Um, apparently, there's no there's nothing that is. Uh, there's nothing that specifically prevents a Lutherist from also believing in Salumer. They're both, um, the Lutherists are polytheistic, right? right and so right. there are those that believe in So as you're talking her ear off, she expresses um, and engages in the conversation too. But all of that stops when you guys make it back to uh, Borneo. Who is just staring there like a man with his own personal rain cloud, um, and uh, the the guards will lead you to his audience chamber, which is a you know it's a banquet hall of sorts, and he's standing there with his hands steepled, um, and he just says, "Bia, we have much to discuss, um." but we will do so in private. He turns to the rest of you and says, I am, of course, grateful to have done me a huge service here, and I am, uh, if there's anything that I can offer you in return, um, you have free reign in my lands. Um, the Laore uh, region will be open to you. I will have uh, personal writs written up to give you free passage. Although I cannot give you a similar passage into the rest of the Dolaro domain. You are a friend to our household and um, and your help is greatly appreciated. Lord Borneo. Shame. Shame, shame. Your money is good. Oh, yeah. Well, he Sir says, Connor? Oh, mm, go ahead. I was going to say, if, if money is, is what you are after we can uh we can reward you handsomely for this um and yeah what's what's your asking price i don't think we would be so oh um nine orioles <laughs> let's say like we shouldn't be so bold as pause what do rich people think is a lot of money nine orioles <laughs> yeah, it's not like ten, you know. Since something right. I'm just gonna doctor charge for day here. Hold up a second. Too much. Mm. The well, a skilled doctor would charge two dinar a day. Do you know one? Well, I happen to be one, and my services have been uh well used here tonight. You're more like an enthusiastic amateur. Do you have a license? <laughs> no, that's why I can do the fun stuff. All the perks with none of the Hippocratic Oath. Exactly. Well, I mean, I still do it anyway, but that, I mean, that's a different issue. I'm sorry, you say that, and all I think is malpractice suits. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's why I keep moving place to place and no one knows my name. You dirty yeah, the old man. Wow. You. <laughs> <laughs> Everything makes sense now. This is the... Weird dark backstory of anonymous. I mean, man, that's why he's anonymous. He's dodging debts. Can't say the name of uh, their family will come after me. Wanted for tax evasion. That's not what no. I'm thinking. Not anymore. So, uh, anonymous, uh, it would be two dinar a day. Dinar. Is that what you're asking for? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think sure. Orioles. The black. And you said nine Orioles. He's so going to laugh at the have nine Orioles. Negotiation on that to become reasonable. The two dinar a day. Haven't you been here for two days? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's not totally unreasonable. We risked our lives. To be fair, if alive. it wasn't for you, the daughter would never come back. So, how much is your daughter worth? We're here for your daughter, Chuck. 
Um, you know, fingering his pussy. And that's how he got kicked off of Twitch. To... And that's that was it. That was the straw. Sorry. Um, no, you good man. He he will agree to a, an Oreo appeal for each of each of you. So hi, nice off. to meet Oreos? you. First time I've shown up, but I'm here to get paid. Exactly, exactly, pretty much. I'm not paying for. I'm sure you and, these other uh, 20 people are also part of our group. I mean, does right? Connor I mean, bring in all of the knights? Four, just... <laughs> just kind of bring in all the knights, too. It's time to get paid. Right, right. All um, these men were on the job the entire time. Yep. At that point, um, the bard busts in. She's like, I thought I saw you go. Party's, party's still going strong. Ooh, people are getting paid. Um, At that point, it but literally no, does you guys become can... nine Orochokes. So yeah, four Orioles, uh, for your service to the house Le Saint Montieu, um, and um, he will, uh, he tells Bia B to um, go to her room, and then he says guards, you know, accompany her there. Um, flights taken, and uh, once she leaves, he says, um, I can assume my foolish daughter was attempting to flee to Rodolfo. Did you learn anything about his whereabouts? It's possible he had, he's gone to Burgess. Uh, he apparently has his uh, any of his property out there. So that could be a place for us to begin. And I think we've narrowed down on some of his associates as well. Mm. All right. Well, that's good. I will send messengers to Burgess uh, to, uh, to alert them of the bounty and um, I can also arrange for you passage across the uh, the Leore, and uh, if you intend to go there yourselves. Um, once again, if there's anything else that I can provide in terms of uh, to, to ease your journey after this, this individual, all you need to do is ask. Well, I know the party is kind of ended, but, well, I think there was a trick. A of hors d'oeuvres that I'm going to help myself to real quick. Oh, my lord, if you could bear a uh, cart and a dray to pull it so we can carry our provisions, it would be most appreciated. Indeed. Indeed. That is easily done. Uh, character, we have a character with animal handling with us who can no, I drive the cart. Been awake for 24 straight hours and had a near death experience. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You might want to. Also, you're so floating on opiates. Yeah, plus my clothes are. Yeah, true. True. yeah maybe you should uh, throw a uh, tailor into the rider. <laughs> Oh, well, the Anonymous bought me this dress, so. Well, do you have a new dress or the torn one? Oh, it, it's all torn and wet now. Well, that's what I I'm saying. Have Maybe you should dress. throw a tailor into the rider so that you can get your clothes fixed. Nah, I'm not greedy. I'm, I'm actually addicted to opium. Nine or chokes, mm. you said. You're the feeling very chill. chill right now. Yeah, really? <clears throat> I, I right. feel great. I feel better than James Brown. And he feels good. So, uh, yeah, you guys, um, he'll offer the guests, the guest uh, rooms at the uh, river house for you guys to stay. If you'd like to rest. Of course. Before setting out. And Anushka, did you actually get injured? Yes. Yes, I did. Would would you like me to do some uh, malpractice? On, I mean, good medicine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try your malpractice. All right, here's the roll. And wouldn't you know it? I also bought a dose of medicine, so that'll be an extra quota of healing for you on top of the three I've provided. So four Excellent. for me, and then as many as you get from anything else you do. Yeah, and Certainly these are a good night bed rest right there. I think at the least. Yeah, they're nice apartments. Before yeah. also counts. <laughs> uh, before we do head out on. and all that stuff, 
I would like to try and uh, bring Anonymous with me to meet Nell. Okay. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Um, you can do that. At this point, it's probably around midnight. Um, do you want to do it now, or do you want to do it in the morning? Well, no, I said before we leave, but I also just don't want to bring the entire party either, because I don't think wandering into Nell's forest with a ton of people okay. is great, but I think I'm still of the mindset that maybe something weird's going on there, and Anonymous says mm-hmm. supernatural, so... Right, so I guess, like, in the morning, once we've all rested, go out together. Yeah, you also have the benefit yeah. of being a doctor, so we could say, hey, I hurt you. I brought a doctor. Mm-hmm. We're about to head all right. out. Maybe. Yeah, so um, you guys can do that in the morning before you decide where you, where you as a group are going to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and Harmon, you can find your way back to her place. When you get there... Um, Nobody is home. Neither Nell nor Hugo, the giant horse, are there. Um, well, you can we see didn't that... see her when we were leaving town either, because this time I went from town to there, and I know that she has a cart that she wheels back and forth. Exactly, exactly. The cart is actually back is at her estate. You don't pass her on the way to town. Um, her dray is there as well, um, in like a small stable like a single a one horse stable and uh yeah but nobody nobody's home currently I mean certainly no one's home like I knock on the door don't hear anything nobody's home nobody's home um you could poke around the property for a while if you'd like uh what about the uh place where she stored all her stuff where's all is all the stuff in there uh yeah it looks like one of the sacks of food has been taken inside the sacks of hay right um but other than that, everything is pretty much how it was when you left it last time. What about giant footsteps in the ground? Yeah, yeah no, you can see. Yeah. You can see giant hoof marks in the soft dirt um, all over the property, basically. You can definitely see that he's been cutting wood. There's like a nice wood pile where there, there wasn't before. Um, and then you can see that there is a... Uh, oh, wait, these are my footprints. Wait, those are my footprints. Yeah, I yeah. cut the wood yesterday. That was me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you want to try to track, you can see that there are prints leading away from the property. Um, you could try to track them if you want. Hoof I'll, prints I'll that you're pretty sure are not yours. I mean, you'd have to. I'm not good at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I guess uh, this is their place. I could just track them by scent too. So how about we go ahead and roll all that? Okay. So that's going to be a good 46 if I throw that in. And with the rousing one success. Rousing one I could always go ahead and uh, add tracking to searching at this point. You could, and reroll that one if you'd like for favorite sure. use. One success. Uh, what was the, what were the dice that you used in the roll? Uh, mind, inquiry, and then species. Uh, species based on scent. Yeah, is that something I can help with? You you could you definitely could assist me in searching. Oh, never mind. My sense is spot. For some reason I thought I had smell. You could use spot too, and I mean, you're looking for signs, and he's smelling for signs. If you want, uh, if you species, want to do that. Way. What was the uh, the other main stat? Um, mind searching species. Mind, of course, there I you mind. I mean, it's two dice. I'll tr- I'll try to help on a two dice roll. Two dice is good. It's better than one die. No, oh, apparently I didn't roll. Mm. Hold on. Okay, not a crit fail, but not helpful at all. Yeah. Okay. So, who did you find? Um. Doctor, based on your sense of smell mostly, um, you can track them the as soon as the as soon as the um hoof prints get to sort of like the main road, which is made of a, a tougher dry dirt, they stop leaving good impressions. Um you can track the scent a little bit further. What you find is that it goes um up the road a ways, but then it sort of veers off into the uh back into sort of the woods, the forest. So 
Um, it's curious because it doesn't look like they were on their way towards any town or village landmark that you know of. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Harmon, you, you definitely told me some information, right? Like wh why you're interested in talking with this person and what they've been up to and what you think, right? Uh, well, well, here's the problem. Is that I would have told you about how the the large uh, horse uh, matches the description of the person that we were told on the road by the soldiers. What I would not have told you was my suspicion about uh, the mind stuff because it's not a suspicion that I have in character. So you remember right. I rolled I rolled like a crit fail on that. I think they're all right. up and up. And, and the first part is the part that I'm uh, actually thinking of, which. Uh, if we connect the dots between Big Horse and Big Horse threatening a glade, um, I do have Insider with the Blessed. Might I roll an extra d12 here to see if I happen to realize that maybe they're heading someplace secret and blessed? That sounds good to me, yeah. And it doesn't help. We're getting nowhere. I could roll personality on this. I feel like I have to now. You, this is kind of one of those sunk cost fallacy moments, but it hey, I'm not going to stop is, here. But at the same time, it's a 75% chance. I can't fail it twice in a row, right? I mean, also, once a session, and we're near the end of the session, so... Well, one, once a day. I mean, I already rested, Yeah, so. well, you know what I'm saying. There we go. Actual another success. <gasps> I just take okay. my time, I calm down, it's like, it's okay, I don't have to be too invested in this. It's just people getting killed and threatened. Mm, it's listen this happens all the time okay here's what i can tell you for that mm -hmm. um so uh you took insider with blessed so you have potentially um some experience uh talking to these individuals and um you think that you had heard now the location of the of the blessed groves of lutera are kept private from common knowledge they're known by the hierarchs and by those that practice the uh the luterist magics um but you had heard rumors that there were several in this area in this region um you'd heard about the the grove of whispers from the uh boar that you found wounded on the road to tuskdun um but that wasn't that was uh that was more um and based on these tracks you think that it is conceivable that they could be headed towards one of these sacred sites. What you do know is that there is no town within immediate walking distance from where you are now, um, mm -hmm. which would make it a prime location for a grove. And also, this region is mostly plains. The There's sort of these sparse forests that pop up here and there, and it looks like it's tracking into one such forest. So if there was a grove, this could be a place for it. Hmm. Well, Harmon, I suppose we could go into the woods and see if we happen to stumble upon uh, your friends here, or we could wait, or I suppose we could leave. Well, I think our other friends are going to be waiting for us, uh, mm -hmm. so I don't think we can wait here, but I would not be opposed to option first, stumbling into the forest and see if we could find them. Well, I'm sure Anushka could find us later. I'm expecting you to show up any moment now up in the air. What? I've been here. Ah! <laughs> no, sorry, we left you guys, everybody else back in town so that we didn't scare them off if, uh, with numbers. Anushka, would you like to, would you like to roll the track then if you're suddenly here with us? Uh, like, I need to roll to track you. Do you want me to roll my six dice or can I just rope this? No, no, we're tracking somebody else. Which I guess just means we only left right, Connor. Right, we're tracking someone else. That we've only left Connor and Retinue back in town. Oh, who are we looking for this time? We're, we're looking for a pair of individuals who've gone to a sacred grove. One is a very large horse, the other one is not. Um, you know they hide the sacred groves, right? I do. He has insider with the blessed. But I know they're probably heading to it. Well, he, you he have knows. insider. That's to say, he has insider with the blessed, so he specifically knows that they hide them. I know, I, I heard that part. I also have not yet sold back my insider with the blessed. Ho ho. Good, good. So good. I know where the sacred groves are. Yeah, you actually spoke to a blessed in-game. Probably talked your ears off, so... 
quite possible. Uh, well, yeah, I'm actually a very gossipy type person, so I can go ahead and roll that one too. Uh, so are we looking for the Sacred Grove, uh, the Grove of Whispers, or are we looking for a specific person? Probably the Grove of Whispers, which is where they're going to be. Oh, we also excellent. technically have their trails into the woods, it's just gotten hard for me to track. If you're looking for a specific unknown place, I get a huge, uh, my 3D12 kicks in. So that would probably be the easier thing to track. We just go there and we'll likely to bump into them with well, four successes. Four successes. I love the number of D12s you have. In including the insider bonus because uh, I can recognize landmarks. I can, I uh, know no fear, serve with joy, and my wings do not tire. Uh, and I know places where it would be, and most importantly, where it wouldn't be. So, yeah, I know where the, and I have Insider with the Blessed. So that's four successes to find a forbidden place, which you would probably need to find a forbidden place. That's true. That's true. So, um, yeah, point of order, this is not the Grove of Whispers. Um, it is a different grove. Um, oh, I like the thing that we found, the Grove of Whispers. That was the wrong grove. Oh, yeah. Right, that's the thing. Technically, that grove has already been it would be silly to go back there. Um, well, I guess that all depends on what's going on, right? But in in this case, the uh, tip of my hat over here. In this case, um, yes, you have heard of uh, the Grove of Sorrows, and based on the sloppy description from the Nobody drunk Dominique. Wants to go through the of sorrows. No, no. But um, well, I mean, it depends. If you're blessed, you probably do. Um, these groves are are generally given kind of dour names even though they themselves are quite beautiful places um and you know i think some people may hypo might hypothesize that they're given these names to scare off the non-faithful but right, the say? grove of stars is just what they call the place where they do all their drinking yeah but this is where the yeah. lincoln park concert is there you go <laughs> <laughs> put on some radiohead oh man all right the one where they play nickelback Oh, uh, that, that's yep. the Grove of Pain. The Grove that damn, she beat me to it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, suffice it to say, you are able to find the Grove of Sorrow. 